All right, so I figured out what the issue was. To anybody who was curious, the new YouTube studio. You drove, I, I, I literally had a drink when I started the show and when I thought it started, it turns out, you guys want to know what the fuck it is? YouTube's new system doesn't go la live. And I, I always had auto autoplay enabled, but it's been so long since I have uh, used that feature, I forgot it was there. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. How, how absolutely irritating. Yep, now I'm live. Fuck me. I was talking to myself, and it wasn't even just like how it normally is when I'm talking to myself. You know, I'm talking to myself, I'm going, where the fuck is chat? I even say at one point, like, what, what's going on? Fucking wasted already. I wish. I, I literally just had a shot. Like, just now. <laughs> fuck me. I had like a two minute long diatribe about how I haven't been doing this for a minute, so I forgot how to stream. We outside, we outside. We, we out here, Rooster. We out here. Are we fucking live? We're here finally. Fuck you, YouTube, for fucking dicking me around like this. We're live. We're live. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a salt cast Halloween. There's only five minutes left in Halloween, so let me get this over with. I remember Halloween. Dead cats hanging from poles. I, I forget the rest of the Misfits song. I could play it right now. I might even do that because we're letting loose today. We're having a good time. I'm going to fucking have some drinks. We're going to talk about Baked Alaska and Red Pilling the Normies. And I'm going to maybe, just maybe, seeing how things go, play it by ear. Maybe I'll fucking fiddle with this stupid thing. So stay stay tuned, chat. You never know what's going to fucking happen after I decide it when I'm, when I'm frazzled because the stupid stream didn't start. And I've had a few drinks, and I'm just deciding, fuck it, let's have a show. So, welcome everybody to the Saltcast. And let me play this uh, intro for you here. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt. And to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. It is pretty funny. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. Obviously. The ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. I hate how catchy that song is. It's the absolute worst. That's right, everybody. You're in the right fucking place. It is October 31st for the next three minutes. It is Halloween on a full moon. And over here in California, everybody's acting like they're a werewolf. Absolute madness. Sirens going off. There's no one burning down the city like in other parts of the nation. But people are still losing their fucking minds. Everyone's on drugs. It's going crazy. And I said, oh, a full moon? Halloween? I'm staying inside. Yeah, I don't need anything. I don't have to, I don't have to deal with that. So shit, since you missed what I had to say to the, in the beginning chat because of YouTube's uh, lovely uh, go live button, even though I've already pressed start streaming on OBS, because of that, you, you missed my, my heartfelt tears. So uh, tonight we go deeper chat what, with that old Metal Gear uh, trailer, the, the quote from Master Miller. You know, Cypher sent us to hell, but tonight we go deeper. And tonight, deeper we go. That, it's been a while. And like I said earlier, I've kind of forgotten how this whole thing fucking works. But we'll figure it all out. It's good to have you here. Uh, as always, what keeps me coming back to uh, stream and everything is you lovely folks. You always bring a smile to my face. Good laughs. It's always a fun time. So, happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you all are uh, staying safe. Uh, maintaining a level head despite all of the chaos we're faced with and uh, you guys are the best fucking cheers and uh, hey Davey good to see you I have a, a, a new a couple new bumps but I wanted to share one of them 
on the show, and since you're here, I'll go ahead and play it in a second. So, uh, yeah. Uh, cheers, chat. Love ya. No homo. No joke, there's sirens going on right now. What the fuck's happening? So, from here, let me bring up that, that crockpot bump. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Is it true, sir, that um, you have what's been described as an egg-shaped penis? All right. Fucking got him. Got him eternally. Eternally blown the fuck out. He got blown the fuck out so hard. Like, really, what's going on out there? He got blown the fuck out so hard. The official story is he did a backflip out, 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 off his fucking jail bed. Oh. A little bit, though. Just a little bit. Alright, and... You know, I would be remiss. If I Welcome to eternity. I need, I need milk! I need milk! I need milk right now! Help! Milk right now, please! No! It's burning! It's bear base! Fuck! Fuck! It burns so fucking bad! Bear base to the eye! Straight to the eye! It burns so fucking bad! Straight to the eye, Bait! Are you sure? And you knew it was bear mace, isn't that weird? I need milk right now! Milk right now, please! Milk! It's burning! I need, I need milk! I need milk! I need milk right now! He needs milk. Well, I always asked, I always wondered, why is it that he seems so aware that it was bear mace? Right? And I have a clip for you. By the way, this is the first I've seen of this clip, and I actually defended this asshole. I didn't see this. You fucking bastard baked. Let me show you. Chat. You tell me. I'm not even gonna, I shouldn't have even revealed how I feel about it before I show it. Here's the clip. I'll be right back. It's funny watching your own life watching conspiracy theories about your own life happen like um th there's this whole these videos about people think that i fake maced myself what's what's so funny over there you're laughing no i'm just smiling man i'm just trying to you know put a face on for the show do you know yeah there you go there you go ah! Ah! are you sure yes, yes. hold on ah! hold on it's a solution of fucking uh, yeah it's just soap it's what soap. it is it's soap it's people know more about me than i know about myself Insane, right? Is that not, chat? And Count Dankula had obviously seen the clip. <laughs> and Big's like, and they're saying I fake I maced myself? And he's in there like, yeah, buddy, that totally didn't happen. Here's here's the clip. Look at him. Look at him right there. I, I don't know what else he has in his hand right there. And he reacts to it as if he got fucking hit with bear mace. But there you have it. Baked Alaska had apparently done this to himself. He was just falling down the stairs. I did this to myself. This was a part. This was not part of Fight Club. I mean, I I defended this guy. I did not see. I have not seen this clip, and I know the quality of the video isn't that great, but it's very fucking clear that he did it himself. Look right there. There you have it, chat. Look at the mouse pointer. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but you know something. It really looks like he fucking maced himself. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah! Ah! Are you sure? Yes. yes. Hold on. Ow! 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 Hold on. It's a solution to fucking... Uh, yeah, it's just soap. It's what soap. it is, it's soap. People know more about me than I know about myself. It's funny watching your own... It, it, and that might be... That might be true. Yeah, that might be fucking true. Hey, okay. Now we're on the regular overlay, and since we're into the show... Boot up the chat bot. We'll, we'll just let the madness happen. Chat, I'm gonna let loose. You guys let loose. Let's just all of us fucking go crazy. Go wild, in fact. Um, so I've been paying attention to the Baked Alaska trash fire ever since the uh, Ethan Ralph thing kind of came to a plateau. Uh, it got kind of boring just, just watching. It, it, it reached its climax and then steadily got less interesting. So 
And as far as things go, I, I'm sure I've said this before, but for the sake of posterity, I'll say it again. I hold no contempt, personal contempt, contempt for any of these people. I might have my opinions on them doing shady shit, but at the end of the day, this is just all internet bullshit. Just fucking around. Uh, I feel like a lot of people lose sight of that. I feel like it's a personal thing. For a lot of these people, it's because they invested into this internet thing as a business. They see this as a business as opposed to as a hobby. <laughs> You're not going to fool me. I know that's that clip of Noodle. I need to get more, though. I was going to... Oh, by the way, Chad, I've been changing things around a little bit, and uh, I have a member section now. It has uh, Noodle emoticons, or an, an emoticon of Noodle. But, uh... I've been working on different, uh, like, emojis and shit like that, but to be quite honest, I'm not all that savvy. But Chad, am I, am I crazy? Did we just watch Baked Alaska mace himself, right? I'm trying to... Wait here, I didn't grab my glasses. Um... Yeah, what'd you, what would you expect from the Yeah, I, I don't even know what's going on with the kill stream these days, but I, I did see, uh... When Hunter Biden had his Pornhub account leaked, I think Gator tweeted out, like, holy oh, fucking got Jay Caesared. I, I thought that was pretty funny. Like, enough self awareness that, I'm like, yeah, there you go, have a little fun with it. But I've always, I've always kind of liked it. Anyway, uh, what, what are we gonna get into? I have a lot of links. All these videos are in the description, by the way, but we'll just take a look at uh, Bates Alaska's rise to infamy uh, yet again. So when I started paying attention to all of this, uh, Baked was hanging out, or had recently picked up uh, a troubled young lady. Uh, some people, think, some people think she might have schizophrenia. Maybe he seems to be a little out there. But uh, my opinion of her is she's the shadow of many people like us. She's the other side, and we don't really get a good look at that sometimes to see. Uh, what our counterparts had turned into how this uh the way the world is how it has shaped them and so it was kind of tragic in a way because she seemed like a sweet young lady that has been uh has been brought into a system that doesn't really work well with her quirks i think if i were to be generous that's what i would say so, when Baked pick her, picked her up, she has, like, this massive swollen fucking eye. Uh, who knows what was the case with this eye? But this chick's a character. Like, they go to the bar, she's chugging salt. She's the- I've said this before, like, jokingly, but I kind of mean it. She is the personification of a salt cast. Just chugging salt, dr taking drinks, taking more salt. I've never seen anything like it. What a fucking champion. So, in this stream- she didn't understand IRL streaming, right? Because Baked Alaska just sort of saw a girl crying and said, Hey, I gotta swoop up on, swoop up on this. Here's a woman who is clearly hurt. I could profit from this somehow. Maybe from Super Chats, maybe getting her pants. I don't know. That was the perspective that, that I was watching it from. That's what it seemed like he was doing. And this poor young lady is just getting verbally... I guess you could call it an emotional battery. Just the super chats running through with TTS, and they're just berating her, and she doesn't understand the concept of it. Baked Alaska doesn't even take a moment to explain. No, these are just randoms on the internet that are saying fucked up shit to get a rise out of you. That's the, that's the game. And my game, my the way I make my bread, is putting myself in interesting situations where they can donate money with text-to-speech and create an awkward situation. He, he could have explained that, but he never did. He could have also turned off his TTS, which I have a conspiracy theory that there is something stipulated in a contract somewhere, maybe with Ice Poseidon, maybe somewhere else, that he can't turn it off. He's literally contractually obligated to keep the fucking thing on. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong because he has been turning it off lately. He's been getting keemed. To those unfamiliar, there's a guy named Keemstar. He's, a, uh, he's approved by Susan Wojcicki big channel on youtube and there's a clip of him screaming the n-word i know i'm i'm just appalled chat it, uh all jokes aside it's it's one of my favorite clips on the internet just because it has created so many funny situations 
So while this woman is like in tears continuously throughout the night because the chat is just ripping on her for her eye, and then Super Chats come in telling her she's lovely and she plays a song on guitar. And I I have a soft spot for musicians, chat. You guys know this. So I was like, oh, what a sweet young lady. And chat, eventually, after Baked Alaska was on his way out, and it's like 2 a.m., he drops her off in her RV park. You know, you really get a sense of the level of life this woman is living in. And Baked Alaska, not giving a flying fuck about this woman and her ability to uh, stay in this RV park, that she's, you need to turn your TTS bot, it's like 2 a.m., and then suddenly Keemstar rolls through the speaker, nah, 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 you know, just nonstop, and he's like, I'm sorry, I can't turn it off. Like, doesn't even show her the respect of being at her house at 2 a.m. to turn the fucking thing down, at least, right? Just being a complete cunt. And so he finally weasels his way into his into her house, and it's surprisingly clean. I think everyone was just blown away at how well this fucking this place looked like trash from the outside, and on the inside, she took care of it really well. And so it was revealed that she worked a fast food job, yada yada yada, and baked Alaska made a lot of money off of her. And in fact, uh, as he was leaving, there was there was a moment like of clarity as chat like donations came through with text to speech telling Baked you're an awful person for exploiting her. For content for your channel like this is very clearly a troubled young lady and you're using her and i think it clicked because i don't i think baked alaska is a uh, misguided person that were if he, if he were to understand how much of a shit bag he's been that he would understand it maybe i'm being generous but i believe that's the case and so when this these chats came through alan baked you're an awful person he took a deep breath Went back in and said, hey, hey, uh, I think her, her name was Sammy. Sammy, I'm going to go to the ATM. I'm going to pull you out some money. As soon as he says this, donations ring through hundreds. People throwing, making it rain at this chick. It was really, uh, I don't know what the right word is, but it was kind of beautiful in a way. And as far as I know, she never took the money. I could be wrong, but I think she denied it. And then she is now currently working a job at a restaurant, uh, being trained as a server instead. She decided, no, I don't want to be like you, Baked Alaska. I want to go out there and earn my bread. I want to put my food on the table from the sweat off my brow. Respect. Fucking respect. They raised, like, at least $1,000 for her, and as far as I know, she turned it down. Chat, keep an eye on chat. I might be wrong. They may be more up to date with it. And as far as I know, he, like, left her in Arizona when she was, like, they were, like, live stream. It was just a weird, awkward situation that I don't know all the details to. But what's important is the difference between a person like Sammy and a per person like Baked Alaska. Baked Alaska has all of the means, every reasonable, like, he could work as a dishwasher somewhere. He could work, I, I mean, I know there's probably difficulty getting a job because of all these weirdos on the internet that take this shit way too seriously and are trying to ruin his life. I get that. But... If I were to tell you how, how I feel as a person watching this and the impression I get, I would tell you that Baked Alaska is the type of person that is above getting a job. Because as Nick Fuentes and himself go, you know, people who have regular ass jobs, they're wages. There's, to them, there's nothing lower on the earth because they're such God-given saints. There's nothing more vile than somebody who earns an honest living. And to watch the contempt for which they speak about regular ass people like you and I, and then saying that they, on their shows, that they're helping the very middle class, that they're demeaning. It's a fucking laugh. But beyond that, and I also wanted to mention that these guys say that they're pushing Christian values, and you ask yourself, when we're watching these clips of Baked Alaska, macing people, is this something Christ would do? Is this something that the church would be proud of? Would, would Christ, no shit, would Christ, if brought back today, would he do anything besides chase your ass out of the fucking temple baked? No. You, Nick Fuentes, and everyone like you, including some people I might like, by the way, maybe even including myself, we chased out of a fucking temple with whips. This isn't the type of shit Jesus would avow. These guys go out there and they act in a way that is going to push everyone away from the, the based in red pill uh, ideology. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So since then, this guy's been on an RV trip where he's been going to McDonald's on a pretty much daily basis as he's been getting ripped uh, by Super Chat, as you can see in the thumbnail. I don't know if that's doctored, but he appears to have either a thyroid condition or uh, something. Maybe he's taking HRT. I don't know. Uh, stop simping for Sammy. Never. She seems like a delightful fucking lady. No, no joke. She seems troubled. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Right. 
but if you were to ask me, if I were to, if you have to pick a person to be stuck on an island with, and and never mind their gender, like personality wise, somebody like Sammy who is a little a little troubled, maybe a little crazy, compared to somebody like Baked Alaska, who maces himself and makes a spectacle of it. Yeah, I think she's far far better than he is. Uh, and I kind of respect a person like her that saw this IRL stream, and even her with her troubled perspective could see how fucked up it was. Go, oh, this isn't something I want to be around. I don't want to be involved with this shit. I mean, fuck. Who could blame them? So, uh, where are we? So, let me start bringing up the clips, because I think you guys will, uh, will appreciate what's going on here, and... Really, what I find so reprehensible about these particular people is that they, and I know I mentioned this earlier, but I need to reiterate, they hold contempt for the very people they pretend to care about. You know, we're helping middle America. We're helping Western values. Western values, folks. When it's very clear that they're doing the exact fucking opposite. In fact, they're probably making things worse. All right, so let's let's move on here. There are a lot of clips, and again, all of these are in the description. Okay. Feel free to watch them for yourself, and ask you, ask yourself as you're watching this: Is this something Jesus would do? Could I see myself? Could I see Christ? Excuse, Freudian slip there, folks. Could I see Christ doing something like this? Remember, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus act like baked Alaska? Yeah, that's fine. They, they, we're doing YouTube. They, they don't. I'm so sorry, ma'am. It's not. I'm not doing that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I couldn't I turn it off. I'm. People are playing, like aliens have been abducting my mind, and they're oh. playing music out of my brain, and oh. I just can't stand it. Is it good music? I, yeah. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh. It's beautiful music. Have it sounds like the angels coming down from heaven. Oh. God bless you. I love oh. you. Lucky Can I give you a hug? No. Uh, I want a hug. No. Can I have a quick no. hug? Why? I want a hug. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love you. I love you. Go away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just was saying I love you. God bless you. Trump 2020. Go to hell. Go to hell? What? It sounds like this chick was trying to be nice for the record, I think. Maybe I'm crazy here. But I'm watching this and going, well, this lady was trying to just roll with it until he demanded to have a hug. I need a hug, lady, and just start fucking spurging out right there. Watch this. Get the a load of this fucking guy. coming down from heaven. God bless you. I no, love you. Lucky. Can I give you a hug? No. Uh, no. I want a hug. No. Can I have Her a hands hug? go up. Why? I want a hug. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love you. I love you. Go away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just was... Look at how terrified this woman is of him. Look at this. Get a load of this. This is red-pilling the normies. This is perpetuating Western values. This is avowed by the right. This is this is the new normal that I've heard so much about. What a fucking guy. Class act. Let's let's go, let's play the whole thing again. So maybe we're getting something out of context, right? They, they we're doing YouTube. They they don't I'm so sorry, ma'am. It's you not seem I'm sorry. not doing that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. I'm people are playing doing. like aliens have been abducting my mind and they're oh. playing music out of my brain and oh. I just can't stand that. Is it good music? I, yeah. Oh. Yes oh. it is. Oh. It's beautiful music. She's laughing it up until like now. The angels coming down from oh. heaven. God bless you. I love oh. you. Can I give you a hug? No. Uh, I want a hug. No. No. Her hands go up. Sorry, I hit the mic. I want a hug. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love no. you. I love you. I love you. Go away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just was saying I love you. God bless you. Trump 2020. Go to hell. Go to hell. You know, after you said Trump, you know, after you terrified this woman, do you think she's going to vote Trump after you go Trump 2020, right? Eh? You're red-pilled? You're going to vote for Republicans this year? Eh? How about selling out for corporations instead of social movements? Eh? Ah? 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 Holy fuck, guys. Now, and now that's fucking based. Now that, that is fucking based. Fucking dude.
Pardon my French. I, I can't even... I, I don't even know what to say about this guy. Uh, Boober Lee with $1.49. I believe it's just salt. Just salt everywhere. Lots and lots of salt. You can taste the salt. You can feel the salt. It's in the atmosphere. Alright, and uh, let's bring up the next clip here for you guys. Looks like the rest of these are on. No, no, no. There's two more streamers. Just a second here. Yes, you can. Hi. Who is this? Who is this? What? Get away from my dog. What the fuck is your problem? That was fucking rude as shit. Why are you, why are you saying that? What the fuck is your problem, lady? She said I could touch her dog. Hello? You got a problem? You got a problem? That was very fucking rude. You little Karen. Karen ass bitch. Be nicer to people, you know? People you should be nicer to people, he says, as he's berating this human being. Like, you know, maybe she doesn't want you around. Maybe you, you should be mindful of her sensibilities. That's another thing I've noticed about this guy. He'll tell you that you're supposed to respect his right to free speech. He, you're supposed to respect his right to film you. But you're not, he's not supposed to respect your right to tell him to fuck himself. You have to be nice to him. On top of respect his right to film you, even if you ask him not to. Just a real shit human being. I, this is, straight up, Chad. I'm, I'm a pretty nice fucking dude. This is not Christ-like. This isn't even... You can't even argue that this is acting like Christ. This is based in red pill. Do you think you're going to red pill anybody like this? Going around and being a cunt? Like, what an insufferable prick. You know, and I'm waiting. I really am. I'm, the whole reason I'm watching this is because I'm waiting for the moment somebody is tired of your shit, Tim. When you're walking down the street, acting like a cunt, antagonizing people, and then finally someone says, you know what, I'll go to jail to beat this guy's ass. And you're going to pull out the, the fucking bear mace that you used on yourself, as we saw earlier on this stream. You're going to bear mace him. And you know, some people, it doesn't work the same way. You're going to send the guy into fucking red animal reptile brain mode. And he's going to beat the ever living fuck out of you. And I'm going to watch it. And we're going to watch it on this show. And you're going to absolutely deserve every second of it. Going out like this, treating regular human beings with contempt like you do. It's disgusting and awful. And you treat other people far worse than you get treated. Like that old lady that you screamed at, Tim. That old lady you yelled at and pretended to be schizophrenic for laughs, you know, for content on your stream. You terrify these people. How much good and love are you bringing into the world? You talk about positive vibes. What kind of positive vibes do you bring into the world, Baked, Tim? I mean the human being here. How can you call yourself a decent human being and engage in in this type of shit? Or the shit we're going to watch later. Content mace. From a guy that complained, cried like a bitch when he got maced and, and demanded sympathy from everyone across the fucking globe. Apparently being in a moment of suffering didn't teach him humility at all didn't teach him how bad it is to suffer and what it means and how you should show sympathy to those who do suffer. Instead, his moment of suffering was nothing more than a grift. Didn't learn a fucking thing. Anyway, let's continue with this because these other clips we're going to bring up, you guys are going to find uh, quite compelling, I think. I don't want to pay you to why? Because you're a bitch. Stop acting like that. You're a fucking Karen. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you going to do about it? That sounds very Christ-like baked. Wow, you must be a real Christian boy. Nice Christian boy. That when somebody says, will you leave me alone? The immediate answer isn't, absolutely, ma'am. You have a lovely evening. You know, there's a, there's a tactic called kill him with kindness. Just be such a gentleman that when they're rude to you, optically, everyone in the situation will think that they were the asshole. Do you ever, you ever consider that one, Baked? You go out here and you try to play the victim after you directly antagonize these people. And I must reiterate, for the tenth fucking time, do you think Jesus ever 
antagonized people in public. And then when they said, please leave me alone, I don't want to deal with you. They, he said, well, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, you fucking Karen? Yeah, yeah, I baked. You know, that's really Christian of you. Very Christ-like indeed. What would Jesus do? He would act just like Baked Alaska, macing himself and crying for attention just like you did. You fucking hack. You make a bad name for people that are who you pretend to be. For Christians out there, for, for right-wingers, you make an embarrassment out of all of them. You're, you should be fucking shamed of yourself, bud. Yeah, 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 keep walking. Go hit a treadmill. Go hit a treadmill. Yeah, I'm a 51 year old Yeah, go, go, go hit a treadmill. Go hit a treadmill. Go hit a treadmill. Honestly, I wish a treadmill would hit Baker. I 10 times a day and I'm still healthier than you. Go on No, you're not. No, no, he's not. All right. Good American discussion out here, you know? Is that an American discussion? You seem like just a out here. We got the Antifa cowards out here. You little cowards. faggots. What's up? What's up? Hi. What's why, up? Why, why you say What's that? Up? Huh? Why you say that? Because you're, you're cowards. Because you're, you're cowards. Me yeah. Treat me like one. Huh? Treat me like one. Right and treat me like one. Yeah? What's yeah. up? Bite him. Like Get him. Okay, what's up? Treat me like a coward right now. Put your shit down. Huh? Put your shit what's down. What's up? Put your shit down. Put your shit down. Put your shit down. Put your shit down. Yeah. You, you step away. Face. You better step the fuck away. Bro. No, you, you wanted that and you away. called me a coward. Now I'm away. calling you. Get now the fuck I'm away. fucking... You got a long step way. the fuck away. Put them up. Fuck away, bro. We're throwing hands. You understand what that means. Get the fuck out of my face. Call me that again. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. Pussy. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. You gonna do? Get the fuck out of my face before I knock your fucking ass out. You gonna do? Get hold this. You couldn't so knock out, out a face. fucking coma patient, big. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Get the do? fuck out of my face. What you gonna do? Get the fuck out of my face. Now what are you gonna do about it, Bates? Get the fuck out of my face. Can keep I walking. Say that to you? Keep walking. Now you're the one saying, please leave me face, alone. Bitch. Keep walking. I don't want to fight. Pussy. Keep walking, bro. Sorry. What? What you gonna do with that? What keep walking. Keep walking. Do it. Keep walking. Do it. Keep walking. Do it. Keep walking. Yeah, you know where you're looking, don't you? Keep walking. Coming for you, bitch. Some of your best keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Winners fucking come. Keep walking. When they tried that shit. Yeah. Keep Remember walking. The last time that happened? Wait, you think you're gonna run me off the fucking corner? Keep walking. You think you're gonna run me off the corner? Yeah, keep bro, walking. Put your shit down and let's box, bro. It's rock. We're gonna. Are we gonna make America great again? Are we gonna fucking go? Right Who's gonna win? Come on. The right Bye -bye. winger, the left winger, let's fucking go, oh, boys. I'm not here to fighting you. To Bro, I'm not here to fight. To <laughs> 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 Alright, this guy, this guy, ask yourself in the three minutes of this clip that we have watched, does he seem like a guy who's not there for a fight? He's not there for a fight, chat. He's not there for a fight. Really? Because you were saying fighting words. You were out here screaming fighting words. You were berating that woman to her face. It sounded like you wanted to throw hands. And now a man who is a foot shorter than you says, let's throw hands. And suddenly it's, oh, I don't want to fight. What a, what a fucking coward. This guy called this dude who wanted to fight him a coward when he walked up. And the guy was ready to fight him. And Bait Alaska is such a bitch that he's like, I'm not here to fight. Then why are you saying fighting words? Why are you out here acting like you're ready to throw hands? It's an embarrassment. Wow. And that's that's right, chat. He's not an old woman. Because if this if this uh, short man here was a, an old woman, Baked Alaska would be berating them, spraying them with mace. He only targets people that, that are... Or not even people. He doesn't target people. He targets women. Old women. I've seen on two fucking occasions where he, or no, excuse me, three recently, where he just finds old people and, and just has to like slither his way up there and try to ruin their night. This world, and I don't say this with any, I, I, I like there to be a redemption arc for everybody. I don't say this with any sort of, uh, I, I don't feel good about saying this. The world's a shittier place with this guy around. And if you happen to hear this, Tim, this is the person you've become. You know, forget about all the politics shit, because I, I really don't think ideology equals morality uh, directly to the sense of where if you're a national socialist, you're an awful person. Or even even if you're a communist, I, I think you could be a good person who believes in communism. I, I stand against what they stand for, but I don't believe it makes you a bad person to believe in something foolish. So uh, that having been said... 
uh, it's just kind of, it's, it's irritating, right? Because I would be willing to, I was defending this guy when he was at Charlottesville saying, you know, just because he was at Charlottesville it doesn't mean he's an awful guy. But this right here, this is awful behavior and it's pathetic and embarrassing vicariously. Anyway, uh, roused out with five bucks. I have wanted to see baked Alaska scalped for many years. <laughs> well, you know, if he keeps acting like this, uh, roused hour with five bucks, by the way, uh, maybe we'll get our dream. Maybe memes will stop being dreams. One of our, one of our OG uh, watchers, by the way, that guy's been around for a while. Good to have you still on board, especially with how finicky I can be about uh, actually live streaming. Where are we at now? We're at uh, 35 minutes. So he continues to go on for like another five minutes trying to run away from this fight with this guy. And maybe we can come back to it, but I would like to move on to a different question. On just a second here. Dude, no I, no I legit thought it was a Richard Spencer yeah. link that I clicked on. Okay, so this is another uh, longer come clip. Here, come here, come here. What's going on, guys? And I just wanted to show you guys how based and red pilled Nick Fuentes and Baked Alaska are. Get a load of this shit. Dude, this how we're gonna Mil save the Mil Let's do yeah. Yo, let's go. Hey, wait. Come here, come here. What's going on, guys? Yo, let's go. Why do, you love, why do you love Fortnite? What was that? Let's go. Jaden beat the crap out of Magar. Grudge match. Yeah. Hi. We're, we're just right now. There's been no. So he's just argue. They argue with this uh, this young woman and her younger sisters and her friends. Nick, <laughs> just I'll just put that right there. You know, t posing to own to own the younger generation. How do you do, fellow kids? I I even, despite living in my with my parents, I swear that I'm an adult. Look at me. Look how cool though I am with the kids. T posing. What the fuck? What the fuck world do I live in? <sighs> Leave that. Up. Oh yeah, and, and yeah, Seth. I see uh, pedos. Well, they're friends with uh, Catboy Cammy, a man who's openly preyed on fucking children on live stream. I know, Chad. I'm fucking blown away, too. The shit goes on, and these guys call themselves saviors of Western civilization. It's fucking crazy, man. But how about that T-pose, though? Like, what about that T-pose? Yeah, cringe. Isn't it weird? Like, this is, this is the guy, Nick Fuentes, the guy who lectures everyone on optics, on things being cringy. Watch this. Is this not cringe? Current year, it's the 21st century, 21st century Nick. That's the century of the white man. Can be on the same level. Yes. No, they can't. Be just as no, you not. can't. Why are you standing like He's that? He's T-posing on you. Boy, He's T-posing on you. T-pose. T-pose. <laughs> so, you know what I haven't ever seen these guys do on live stream? Crazy. Uh, be gentlemen. I've never seen it. Not once have I ever seen these guys demonstrate class. There are a bunch of classless assholes who then say, oh, well, by the way, I'm also Christian. <laughs> yeah, sure you are, buddy. In the same way that you're not a Jew, right? I get it. I get it. Did the clocks roll back? Uh, well, it's not 2 o'clock yet, and I think that happens on the 15th. I could be wrong, though. Find out. Uh, so this is another, it's just a 20 minute clip of them trying to red pill, uh, people in a mall. Just, Let's just go. by right, being, you, yeah, you know, All themselves. Right. All right, cool. We're going to go. Let's go. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Friday. All right. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't contact, uh, content mace them. I'm sure they were feeling threatened. Content mace. This next clip we have here. Uh, 
watch uh, Baked Alaska pick a fight with uh, a man with holes in his limbs. Stop talking shit and be a group. You gonna be a fucking group? Are you? Then stop talking shit, dude. You're a faggot, bro. I already squashed beef with you, and I already said we're cool. Now you want to do this shit? Yeah, look at the screen time. IRL with Johnny Boston. And IRL streaming is the worst. It just brings out the worst qualities of people. Like they're absolutely fucking awful. So there's no need to really watch this. But just this is a type of shenanigans they've been involved with. Really. Just picking fights with one each other, uh, one one another while they've been on some fucking RV trip. I'll check. Now I'm a popular guy. He's he's got actual tits, dude. I mean, I think he legit has uh, a thyroid condition. Who it is? Okay, so somebody says check Twitter. I'll bring that up here in a second. All right, and in this clip here, they here. I'll just go ahead. Play this. I'm going to let this play for a few minutes. I will be right. What up? <laughs> what? Why? They don't have. A, she doesn't have a mask. Why? You're not social distancing. Please get six feet away from me. No, you're not. You're not six feet away. What, why are you so, what is, what's going on? What is going on? What is, I'm just trying to get a Burger King. What is going on here? I'm, no, I'm trying to get a burger. I'm hungry. Why is everyone getting mad at me? Why? I live in a free country last I checked and there's no mandatory mask mandate in Arizona. Do you not believe in your? Um, do you not believe in being an American, being free, not being a slave, and having a muzzle on your mouth? Yes. I yeah I I can't wear I can't wear a mask because of my religion. I'm sorry. Okay. I know I know. Mom said that you could be. Because of his religion, you know, he could just say that he has a health complication or an anxiety disorder, or I have a disability. And they probably wouldn't have pressured him, but because he ha he says religion, you know, it opens up that weird gray area. <sighs> just a, just shameful shit. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll change things around a little. But I do have more links. Like, there's like 10 videos. And then there's some stuff involving an account called the Daily Groiper. The Daily Groiper has been uh, continuously shitting on these guys for the past few months. And if you were to compare this channel or this uh, Twitter account to quartering receipts, right? Because I, I don't really care for the quartering. I don't think he's an awful guy. But the, the animus for which they, the, uh, the quartering receipts holds for the quartering, like calls him, an, uh, unironically calls him a Nazi. And, and, he, and he's, it's a way of trying to hold him accountable. This guy is awful at, at making qu the quartering look stupid. He, he, every every once in a while, one of his tweets will be good, but it's just straight complaining. That's how it comes off. Can you believe this guy hates women? Eh, just some bullshit. Like, that's not going to get anyone on your side. What's going to get people on your side is shitting on this guy and making a joke out of him. I even posted publicly, like, hey, just going to give you a bit of advice, man. Lay less on the moral aspect of it and just shit on him looking like a fool. That'll get people to laugh at him. And instead, he didn't take my advice. He did, I think, the, the interact. we had some sort of interaction. I can't remember how it went. But genuinely, I, I don't think people understand this. No one's going to get behind, like, oh my god, can you believe this person did this thing? Fuck off. You're, the approach should be, get a load of this guy. Sort of like how we do it here. Get a load of this baked, like, I'm not going to be, can you believe somebody acts like that? Yeah, I can. We're watching it. But I really despise that like one-dimensional analysis of something that that guy has, and I and the reason I, I brought that account up is because I feel like the Daily Grifter is a far superior version of what the quartering receipts tries to do. Uh, the Daily Grifter 
is one of the few accounts like when I g- browse Twitter, that's one of the ones I'm looking for. I want to see some shit ripping on the the MAGA movement. A quartering is like the archetype for, of a bug man. Yeah, that's spot on. Uh, Navy Blue Eyes with five bucks. What makes uh, what makes you stream today? Thought you would be at a party, or did Gavin dump on your parade? And he showed up with the butt plug, and I said, "I'm out of here." No, uh, I had a long day at work, and there's a full moon tonight. And everyone's insane out in town tonight. So I said, I want nothing to do with this. I'm going home. I'm going home. That's, the, in my opinion, the wise choice. But, uh, yeah, there were a few people doing stuff tonight. I had no interest. One of the, a guy I know was dressed as Hot Rod from the movie Hot Rod. Uh, what's that guy? Andy Samberg. It's one of, one of Andy Samberg's few projects that I thought was good. Hot Rod had me rolling the entire movie. That was some good shit. A quarter pounder is a tin pool of gaming. I think you might be right. No, uh, maybe that is de- that is one hundred percent spot on because I don't enjoy tin pools takes on politics, and I don't enjoy the quarterings takes on gaming. Uh, someone like Yang Yi, I think Yang Yi does a decent job. I can't. There was a controversy with him recently. I can't remember what it was, but Yang Yi's stuff's pretty pretty good. Spawn Wave is another one I watch for uh, gaming news. Anyway. I should check this Twitter thing so we can get the show on the road. Oh, a mass stabbing in Quebec City, Canada. Two dead, five injured stabbing occurred near the National Assembly. Suspect dressed as a white ghost samurai or media. Okay, that's that's fun. Got out. We gotta take a peek, chat. It, it actually is a spooky ghost. Absolute fucking shame. This is why we needed Cairo Sejiro, the leader of the Weebs. He's the guy that would have stopped this man. You don't believe me? You don't believe me. Let me see if I can... Never even looked to see if this video is on Twitter. It's not. For shame. Cairo Sejiro wasn't looking for trouble on the light rail that night, but trouble certainly found him. And when that fight broke out, he was ready for it with his trusty katana. I actually carry this because I, I've become a little bit more dangerous than with, without it than with it. So it's more of a restraint mechanism than a safety blanket. The fight had been going on for about 20 minutes. It was two on one. None of them saw Cairo Sejiro move around behind them. To them, they probably thought I was just moving out of the way, but I was actually setting up to where their blind spot was. If he had gone on me, I was planning to go in completely, drop the sword down, and then completely cut him, completely gave, gave him open. The sad truth is, is that they weren't even a challenge. I already had sad a, truth. Full, uh, a full five stage plan ready to take everyone out and anybody else who got involved just in case. That's just the way I do things. This is about what you saw on the train. It's folded, tempered, and it does its job. My family oh, yeah. couldn't Grab handle me. Last I part. had a, a surprisingly strange uh, affinity for um, uh, sharp objects, particularly kitchen knives when I was a kid. So he traded in the knives for a lifetime of studying the sword. The katana goes with him everywhere. While you were studying, while you were getting laid, I was studying the blade. Teleports behind you. Yes, yeah, so this, this guy's dead. Rip. Kind of a strange story. I, I'm not going to co-sign everything Ky- Cairo Sejiro did, but he was our he was our weeb. R- a real human being, chat. All right. Uh, fuck me. All right. Let's get to the next thing here. These cringy motherfuckers. Hold on just a second. I gotta bring up 
the Daily Grifter. Again, great Twitter account, by the way. This is their pinned tweet. He's coming out right now, just trying to get their message out as well. So this is what we've been having going around here. I mean, when you think about what's been going on, it's just that these folks are coming out and they're enjoying the show about what's happening against the law. I mean, I'm kind of with them. I'm like, fuck the mask anyway. Baked will not divide. He certainly won't, buddy. So he, he recently got uh, found out. Nick Fuentes' fans found him. He's sending uh, was it a message to his mother. Hello, Mrs. Blank. Oh, it fucks up the crop here. I'll just do it. Hello, Mrs. Blank. I'm sorry to have to reach out to you about this, but your son Jared is making an extremely disgusting and disparaging post about a young man he also tried to cause trouble for in recent months while he was alive, who passed away recently on a couple of Twitter accounts that Jared runs. The parents of the deceased young man are learning of his strong online presence, and I'm afraid that they will see some of Jared's awful and untruthful posts when discovering more about the entertainment that this, their deceased son provided people online. I understand that Jared lives at home. Could you please speak to him? and ask him to refrain from posting such awful, dishonest, and cold-hearted things about this recently. Very recently deceased young man. Isn't it interesting, right? The same people who were owning the Karens go and talk to the dude's mother. The most Karen thing you can do. You know, remember, they're free to harass, you know, by their own definition, harass other people. But when they do it, it's them, you know, they're just making content. Disgusting human beings. Like, awful, awful people. So, I think from here. I wanted to get just into that. Here's some of the messages they're sending him. Uh, they, they found him. They're going for him. Now, what's more important, though, is uh, this clip right here. Ask him, so... The big news is that it's more sad news. Baked Alaska's YouTube channel was banned this week and banned after a high-pressure campaign from Tim Heidecker and Vic Berger. And Tim Heidecker, you may know, he was from the Tim and Eric show on Adult Swim. Yeah, if you don't know, the Tim and Eric uh, billion-dollar movie. Their billion-dollar big movie. And Tim Heidecker you know, a big creative mind, decided to write himself as a child molester. As a fucking chomo in the movie. Or, excuse me, maybe it's not openly, it's not made explicit that that's what he was doing, but he's predatory towards a child in the movie. And it's his movie. He wrote himself like that. The brilliant mind of Tim Heidecker. And the other thing about this, right? The reason I, I dislike bannings and getting people deplatformed is first of all, one, we don't get to see them eventually uh, face karma. And second, I don't like it when somebody walks by, turns the fucking television off. Okay, you don't get to decide what I watch or listen to. You're a dick if you walk by and change the fucking channel on somebody. And that's this is the modern equivalent of going, hey, switch it off. Hey, buddy, I was watching that, you dick. So, uh, you know, still a dick move of Tim Heidecker to have him removed. I mean, that's kind of his prerogative. Did the same thing with Sam Hyde, and he's a spineless sack of shit. But, uh, that, and also he likes to LARP as a child molester, which is f fucking disgusting. Fuck Tim Heidecker. Although, that song by Heidecker and Wood called Cocaine and Cross Country Skiing, he's not, a, he's not bad at playing music. But his form of comedy doesn't jive with me. Let's continue here. So, what I'm saying is fuck Tim Heidecker for changing the channel on me when I was waiting for this guy to get his ass handed to him on stream. Which wasn't funny. He's not funny. And uh, Vic, and also he got World Peace canceled, of course, Sam Hyde's show. And Vic Berger is a video editor, I think. I believe he was with BuzzFeed at one point or something. Yeah, same thing and with Sam Hyde. I was watching that dick. by a video edit he made of Donald Trump during the primary debates. You may remember this, in case you don't know. 
So yesterday, Tim Heidegger and Vic Berger, they discovered that Baked Alaska is back, and it is the year of Baked Alaska. They discovered that he's got thousands of live viewers. He's getting the girl. He's getting the bipolar girl or the schizophrenic girl, and he's destroying wages. Mass cucks he certainly are is being no Tom annihilated Tim every Donway. day. He's making America great again. And they said, <laughs> we have to shut this down. We're Jewish, and now we're going to shut this down. This Aryan is going off too much. Can we get an op? It's too Christian. Wait a minute. Can we, can we get an optics check on this? Whoa, whoa! Optics department. Can we get a? Can we get an optics check? What are the optics of this? I thought it was cringy to talk about Israel and the chosen people. It was cringy. O only when it's the wig nats. It's okay when you do it to fluff your sense of, uh, sense of I don't know clout. It's weird how it's totally fine to pat yourself on the back about how you're being targeted at, by by the uh, bluish people. But then when other people bring up the Israeli question, questions about Palestine, suddenly that's just cringe, bro. Don't be such a wig gnat. All right, let's, let's go back here because at this point right here it is real. Ass cucks are being annihilated every hey, day. He's making America great again. And they said, we have to shut this down. We're Jewish, and now we're going to shut this down. This Aryan is going off too much. It's too Christian. Okay, I got I to gotta stop right there. I, I know that's right where we stopped last time. This dude just called Baked Alaska an Aryan, and he's fucking Jewish. <laughs> you couldn't make this up. And he's, aren't Aryans, like, tall? Like, Germans are tall bastards, right? I'm going to tell you, Baked Alaska ain't very tall. Aren't you a little too short to be an Aryan, buddy? Put him up on the cross, they're saying, as Jews. And now it's time to shut it down. It's time to put Baked Alaska up on the cross. That's what they said. So He's just like Jesus, folks. They tagged YouTube. They tagged He's Twitter. Just like they Christ. tagged everybody. And they said, hey, Twitter, this is Baked Alaska's Twitter account. Ban him. And this is Baked Alaska's YouTube channel. Ban him. He is doing all these terrible things. And now he's been banned. And I'll... So the part I wanted to get to was when he's talking about how he's owning the wages. Here we go. Maybe it's this one here. You're gay, you're Jewish, and cringe. And you're not even funny. Uh, a little bit of self-awareness from Fuentes. That was good. The big news is that it's more sad news. Baked Alaska's YouTube channel was banned this week. Okay, that's pretty much the same clip. Oh, and by the way, this is one of Baked Alaska's uh, post-streamers here at 7 a.m. 9 a.m., excuse me. Just getting shit-hammered. Uh, and I know I'm two shots in, but uh, this guy's got also got a pill bottle in front of him. Kind of, you know, based and red-pilled. We'll see if we can get that video, but the way they see this, right? Going into somebody's work and screaming, just being an insufferable prick about wearing the mask. They have to police it. It's not them working with a communist in some... Like, what kind of schizo shit is that? These guys go into people's work and just scream at them. Cause a scene. Make everyone's wor life worse and more difficult. And then they also uh, say, well, also we champion those people that we're going out and making lives difficult for. If I can find the uh, video in question. Okay, so unfortunately, those are the two I have. Maybe I got taken down. But they talk about they're owning the wages. Owning the wages. They have contempt for the working class. Because they, they see themselves above somebody who can get a normal job. To them, it's vile. The idea of working... An honest living to put food on your table and pay your bills without begging people for, for money or by trying to insinuate that people giving you money is the same as saving civilization. You know, that is legitimately a grift. I know the, the word grifter is way overused, but in my, uh, the way I view the word, a grift is giving somebody the illusion of a solution to their problems without giving them said solution. That's a grift. 
And that's what he's doing here. I can say it's the Molyneux thing all over again. I can, I'm offering you the promise of salvation and all you have to do is, you know, provide us a little bit of your income. It's the same shit. It's always the same shit, isn't it? But of course, you know, Baked Alaska it was up on the cross. He's essentially, he's Jesus. So that's 145. This one's one. Okay, so it's the same clip. But I do have more uh, Nova for us to take a look at. And yes, this old man yelling at him is pretty good. Watch the uh, Heidecker Fuentes debate. I actually haven't seen it. I saw that it had happened. I think the Groypers like sent Tim Heidecker like four hundred dollars to bring Fuentes on, and then they just dunked on him. I believe. Yeah, that's exactly it. You should not, uh, Meta. You should not ever be ashamed of working hard and contributing to society or to yourself. Provide for your family. That's a, that's an important thing. Somebody. You know, they're out owning the wages, right? But those wages are bringing home food for their families. They're paying their bills. They're part of that lower to middle class that you guys seem to care so much about. Uh, unless you can exploit them for content, then they're just beneath you. They're trash, right? It's the sense of, of like, they, they believe themselves to be, like, royalty or something. What internet clout does to these fucking dudes' brains? I don't know if, what it is exactly, but all of these people, they get this sense of, of grandeur. These delusions that they're the center of the universe and just God's gift to the world. All right, let's play some of this. This is Baked Alaska confronts, stops speeding and slaps him. Six cop cars pull up. I'd rather see when the cops show up. Ah, maybe we got to see uh, him try to act alpha. That'd be Pull him up, baby. <laughs> I want to see it, baby girl. Yeah, we want to see it. We'll give you donos if you get it. Uh, I don't have any mods in, so Army, shut the I fuck up. That's for some mullet, yeah. $20 you if you can pull up a mullet. $20. $20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 bucks, I got it. One cash. Yeah. We, we just want to eat it raw. Yeah. Alright, we'll eat it raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. No, I'll eat it raw. Look, right here, the 20s right here. Look, right here. Hey, we need that 20, man. Well, uh, we just hit 1,000. Here's the other thing. These guys, everything to them. They live vicariously through their viewer account, right? Everything to them matters. Like, the only thing that matters is how many people are watching, not how many people are there to watch them be awful people. Like, none of these people are fans of theirs. No one respects them. But they see that number, that 1,000, go, oh my god. Oh my god, we're popular guys. Uh, what's the bot currency called? It is Wildcoin. What? Uh, I, just, I think it's bullshit. Uh... Alright, I've had enough of this clip. Let's move on. These dudes are like charisma fucking cancer. They're talking to us. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey. Oh, okay. This is a great clip, chat. We have Keemstar to think. If Keemstar wasn't dropping N bombs like Hiroshima was underneath him. Oh wait, those weren't N. Anyway, if Keemstar wasn't dro hasn't been dropping N bombs his entire life, we wouldn't have golden situations like we have before us. Let's take a look. Who are you? Oh, we're just uh, li we're YouTubers. We're live streaming. Yeah, we're we're just driving through, baked Alaska on YouTube. Oh. That's me. How's it going? We're headed to Albuquerque. Ah, big Alaska. Uh... Yeah. Oh, we're Alaska. Huh? Oh, we're to Alaska. Really nice. Don't oh, film me, no. Oh well, you just yeah. walked up to me, so. Okay. Hey. Turn that way. Turn huh? that way. I'm going in the store. Why did you touch my nipple? I didn't touch your nipple. Yeah, you did. Fuck you. Yeah. She saw it. Okay. So we're gonna be on YouTube now, Daniel. What? Nigger, nigger, nigger. Okay, so Keemstar again, folks. I disavow. I didn't realize that YouTube has the approval. Like Susan, thumbs up. I'm sorry. 
I, to those sensible to the uh, racial epithet spoken by a man named Daniel Keem, I apologize wholeheartedly. Uh, he, he just can't be stopped. This man is, is just keeming everybody. <laughs> Don't you love Keemstar is getting people banned for him saying the N-word. And he's, and he's got a fucking approved channel on YouTube. I love that. And for, for the record, I'm not calling for the guy to get banned. I'm calling out how fucking funny it is. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. Uh, so he's got these uh, Keem donations. He walks into the store here. Um, yeah, yeah, so two of those, and then get he, Jaeger. Richard is rather upset. Yeah, they're trying to fight me, so I gotta go back yeah, in the RV. So maybe don't do that, bro. Do what? How about just, like, for the... Just scam them sometimes, dog. Hey, are you gonna get this? I got it. Yeah, I, I gave him my card. Yeah. Just scam them sometimes. No, just turn the TTS off when you're going into public like a fucking smart human being unless you're trying to get beat up and then trying to pretend that he's not doing anything provocative you don't get to have your cake and eat it too man you know you're bringing that chat that speaker to antagonize people you could at the very least try to make it funny and in instead of but but I, i'm allowed to film here but, but i know my rights and that's not gonna win anybody over all right excuse us it's as simple as turning it off mm -hmm. and saying i'm sorry fucking it's not out of my control excuse me I'm right Fucking right? Is it as if turning off the fucking speaker and saying my apologies is just not even a possibility? Like, he can't even entertain that as something that's possible. What you have to understand is it's not that they're saying the N-word that, that the people have a problem with. It's not the N-word. It's the, the lack of respect to society at large, right? It's not so much the shouting of an evil word. What it is, is that you're going out here in front of people who are just trying to go on with their life and you're directly trying to antagonize them. And even if, yeah, maybe they shouldn't act that way, somebody walking up to you reasonably and, and she is about to fight somebody, a black man, oddly enough, uh, she has a right to confront him and she's right, rightfully doing so. Now, maybe... <laughs> What this descends into is not something I devour, but at the same time, you can't sit there and pretend that you don't know that your chat is just going to spam Keemstar donations and that everyone should just not have a problem with it. I, I don't have a problem with it, but I understand not everybody's from the internet. I'm going to my car. Go to my car. Fucking white they're, they're black. They're blocking me. Fucking Can I please leave? Ain't nobody black. What the fuck? Okay. But if you are not black, black joke, huh? I don't. I don't need. I don't need to apologize to you. Nigger. Nigger. I can go. Damn it, Kingstar. Damn it. For shame, Daniel Keem. Absolute fucking shame. This is this is the the future you created for us, Keem. Just still screaming. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Alright, chat. Keem, stop it. Uh, he just maced that dude. So, uh, we're gonna take a shot. Take a shot every time Baked Alaska maces somebody. So, remember, he needs milk. He needs milk right now. He bear maced himself in the fucking face. For internet clout. But also, it's okay to mace other people when you antagonize them. Cheers, chat. This one, this shot right here, this cheers to everybody but Baked Alaska and Nick Fuentes. Fuck off, guys. You're absolute cancer to civilization. The very values you pretend to care for are the very things you're eroding every time you go out into public. You guys are an embarrassment. An absolute fucking embarrassment. Y'all need to grow up. Cheers, chat. Nigger, nigger. God damn it, Keem. He's just, he, he just can't be stopped. Don't, don't, no, no, don't. He's act. I already maced him. Let's stay okay. in here. So you have to appreciate the, uh, the cosmic irony here. As this black man who was just woken up and told by Baked Alaska, this woman, he conveniently leaves out the detail that Keem, Keemstar donations have been coming through. He's a little worked up about the N-word being dropped. So when he comes out swinging, he doesn't realize she's actually preserving, trying to protect the, the sanctity of the African-American lineage. If 
Casey, I need you to come out, bro. Please, please. I'm serious. I need help. I need help. No, just keep it locked. Let's just leave. But I'm saying I need you up. Okay? He can't, he started swinging at me. I fucking maced him. Complete self-defense. Uh, um, mm, mm. I didn't I didn't see him swing. God damn it came. Okay, so he did seem to charge him. I didn't see a swing. But I also don't trust anything Baked Alaska says on his word. Yeah, we need to well they're in the store. Okay, Casey, come out here. Here, open the door for them. Dope, open the door. Okay. Unlock that shit. Tell them to leave us the fuck alone, Casey. Open the door. Open the door. You just move those red things? She's trying to... We're trying... Hey, they're coming... Three grown men stumped by a fucking door. Come through your window, Casey. Come in the front. It's a door! Here, watch out. There you go. There you go. Yo, move, 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 move! Hey, hey! Yo, yo! Get the Man, fuck that's out. that's yo, base. Yo, Picking a fight it, with a woman, based in red pill. Yo, stop it! Let's go. I think that might have gotten Trump go. reelected, guys. I think that just I can hear those those Let's white demographics go. going through the roof. Lots of white babies all of a sudden. Chill the fuck out. Yo. Humanity saved. Ryan, help, him. Chill the fuck out. help him. European help him. civilization help absolutely help saved. Him. Help him. He's three on one. Come on. Europa redeemed. Stop it, dude. Let's go. Guy fucking came after me. I had to fucking spray him, dude. Yeah, that like never happens except like on every fucking live stream because you antagonize everybody. All right, let's bring up the next one here. Yeah, I'm wearing shades. Okay, so this is just him being interviewed by uh, Jesse Lee Peterson, uh, complaining about getting maced. But as we saw earlier in this uh, live stream, and for the argument, we'll go ahead and bring it back up. So again, I had not seen this before this live stream. Pepper spray. I got fucking pepper spray. Thank you, guys. I got fucking pepper spray. I need milk. I, I need On one of these. Tell the crew okay. to push the whopper button. Tell the crew to push the whopper button. Here, I'll bring up the right clip. I just need, uh, I think it's the very first link. I'm sorry. No, they, they, we're doing YouTube. Hmm. It might take me a second chat, but uh, I might just move on because we did watch it earlier. Those of you who had seen it, uh, you could always rewind it to the very beginning. Uh, Baked Alaska did, in fact, mace himself. If you watch the clip, he turns that shit around right to his own face and blasts himself with it. Oh, never mind. Here we are. Come on. Come on. Own life. What watching conspiracy theories about your own life happen? Like, um, th there's this whole these videos about people think that I fake maced myself. What's what's so funny over there? You're laughing. <laughs> no, I'm just smiling, man. I'm just trying to you know put a face on for the show. Do you know? What I mean? Just having a laugh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah! Ah! Are you sure? Yeah. Own life happen like. Um, these videos about I fake myself. What's what's so funny over there? You're laughing. No, I'm just smiling, man. I'm just trying to you know put a face on. There's the a guy show, live streaming in front of you, watching you fucking do it, buddy. There it is, right there. Fuck, that means I have to drink. Oh, you. He baked. You're still doing damage here, man. And your bodyguard there, uh, Anthony. He's looking at you, going, "What the fuck are you doing? I'm here to protect you, and you're fucking macing yourself." By the way, for the record, because I, 
a lot of the proud boys the people that were being very clearly agitating to uh pe antifa people they weren't helping situations i watched the the anthony fellow here on the right like go into somebody's shop and just scream at them uh you guys have every right to go out and talk about American values and everything, but what it really seems to me to be is you guys are trying to grow like this sense of ego. This is all an ego trip for you. Like, look at how important I am. So these guys aren't aren't helping anything. They might be making things worse. Very much like how I feel about the Antifa people. Now, the, the difference is, the contrast is... Antifa directly goes out and just attacks, puts people in the hospital, burns fucking businesses and homes to the ground. They're awful. They're the, they're the scum of the earth, and uh, nothing is below them besides people who hurt children. That being said, these guys aren't helping things either, but I don't think they're as bad. Mostly because they're not direct. Like, the alt rights never burnt down a, a neighborhood. They never burnt down a city. I have heard constantly about how we've needed to be afraid and give up all of our American values and our freedoms because there was a thousand racist people somewhere that had torches. But those those racist people never hurt anybody. I mean, let's let's forget about the one, the single casualty. How many people have been killed in the streets from Antifa and Black Lives Matter? Do Black Lives Matter more now that those people are dead? Now that Black Lives Matter, a group of people who, who just want equality after it's already been reached. Uh, just doing ungodly things to human beings. To demonstrate that they're not animals, in fact. Uh, they've done more horrific shit to human beings than the alt-right has ever had. Ever. Ever done. Even the far, the real far-right people that, that say some pretty openly heinous shit. Even they haven't done anything even close to that. Now, there might be a few like radical people here and there, but we're not talking about a few bad eggs. We're wa we're talking about Black Lives Matter and Antifa walking in the streets with impunity. impunity. They, they don't face any consequences for the destruction, the mayhem, the chaos, the terror that they inflict upon the civilization. So they are obviously worse. But in the same way that they are a net negative, people like this are also harmful to the whole situation. This isn't making anything any better. This is just a way for people like this to not have to go get a job. That's what it seems like to me. I mean, just... God forbid you be you be entertaining without the need of, of antagonizing people in real life and pushing them to retaliate. Uh, Rouse Dower with, with uh, 10 bucks. Haha, <laughs> good little manlet attack, attack jogger. I think that was a woman. I think that was a woman. And I think the jogger attacked her first. But he was just jogging, you know, you know. Just jogging with his boots and his hammer. Yeah, here we go. So let's take a look at this one here over on the grifter. And I did see people say, well, I don't trust him. He might be a liberal. I, I know nothing about the person that runs the account, what ideology they might have. But they have struck a very delicate balance of mockery versus reporting. And I think they hit that threshold like perfectly. So they, I think they're good over here on the Daily, Gr or Daily Grifter. I can't say what their motivations might be or if they're just here to, like us, to laugh at some people. Maybe it's the case. But that, with, having said that, uh, I think they have been providing some of the best coverage of these, this group of assholes, rather. So uh, I already, I, have to, I gotta get prepared, chat. Here we go. Nate Alaska stocks and maces a random guy. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not filming you. I'm filming myself. I'm not filming. He guy says, I don't want to be recorded. And he says, I'm not filming you. I'm filming myself. And he walks forward and Baked follows him, continuing to report or record him. Damn, bro. Stop it. I'm not filming you. I'm trying to walk away. I'm allowed to film. He's also allowed to request that you not fucking film him. 
And how come he's supposed to respect your right to film him, but you're not supposed to respect his right to ask you to fuck off? Why is it that you have a separate standard for yourself, the Great Baked Alaska? As Nick Fuentes said, he's practically Jesus Christ himself. Very Christ-like shit from Baked Alaska here. I can film it. I know my rights. You're... I, I, I keep using the four-letter word. You're a cunt, Baked. No decent person acts like this. You know what a decent person does? Someone says, I don't want to be filmed. You say, no problem, sir. And then you point the camera down and wait till they moved away. And then you can move back up. But this person was res maybe not respectfully asking, but they still asked you to not fucking record them. And they had every right to request this. And you had every means to point the camera down and say, no problem, man. I'll wait till you're done walking away and then I'll, I'll continue doing my thing. You have a good night. It's above their fucking comprehension to just act like a good person. Hey, no worries, brother. I'll uh, record over here till you're out of sight, and then we'll move over. And instead, this guy follows... Baked Alaska follows this guy. Watch this. Get a load of this. This is a stay back moment. Here. I mean, this It's just not the same without, like, a stay back three. So again, very manly, the moral police. Well, I'm not going to be putting away anyone in handcuffs, but you know, if people weren't so fucked, they wouldn't need moral police. What I'm watching right here is the continuous degra degradation of, of modern culture. This person with no morals. Who, who tells you he's Christ-like. He has Christ behind him, behind him. He's a Christian boy. Again, ask yourself, chat. This clip we just watched, this 50 seconds, is this something Christ would do? Do you think Christ would be proud of a follower of his acting like this? I, 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 don't, think, I don't think he'd approve. I think he would disavow. M more to the point, and I, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. I think if Jesus were to reappear right now and Baked Alaska and Nick Fuentes were in front of him, he would chase them out of the fucking temple with whips. I'm allowed to film. One standard for you, Baked. Other for other people, right? I am so proud. <laughs> I, bet ba I bet Bernie is really proud. So they're calling that content spray. Chat, what will be Christmas for me is the guy who... Some people don't have a reaction to pepper spray like that. One guy is going to grab Baked Alaska by his fucking collar and beat the ever-living shit out of him. That's going to happen. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when, chat. This, this shit right here, and you know what's going to happen is everybody's going to collectively gather around and point and laugh. You are no longer the victim, Bake. No one's going to feel bad for you. It's, I need milk. My, I, I maced myself. Feel bad for me. No one's going to be here to feel bad for you this time because you directly caused this. It gets worse, though. Would you believe me, Chad, if I were to say it gets worse? The optics of these people are so fucked. It gets worse. It gets worse. You're thinking to yourself, Wild, you're pulling my leg. It can't get worse. Clearly, these people have reached the bottom of humanity. They're, we've reached the nadir of Western civilization. There is no lower point. But what you what you failed to realize is that this is the year of baked Alaska. Yoba. Should be this one right here. I need to rub it. No, you don't want to rub it, dude. You want to let it grow. Rub it. It's not, but I'm gonna leave it up anyway.
Help! I'm sorry, Sam. This is what free speech is apparently. What are, no, 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 and again, I don't even think Charlotte Soul was it can be accurately described as a like maybe ethno nationalist, but not all those people, not even a majority of those people were neo Nazis. It's not accurate, is all I'm saying. All right, like I said, this wasn't the clip I was looking for. It might be this one. Oh, okay. So if you'll uh, bear with me just a minute here, we'll get this fucking clip. What do I do with my eyes? I know, I don't know what to do with my eyes either. I wonder sometimes. Uh, no, it's been a while. <laughs> it's all cast Halloween. Here we go. We found it. So the guy featured in this clip is somebody named Dope. But he fits in real nicely with uh, Baked Alaskan. I'm being an asshole? Thank you. Yeah, I look like an asshole. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, you're very mature, dude. How old are you? Yeah, how old are you, buddy? Ah, I bet you're over 30 years old and you're acting like that. Wow. I, I, did you, I, oh, he's 37? Even better. Oh, oh his mother's wow. Jewish. No, I saw somebody saying, well, Baked Alaska looks German. <laughs> First of all, I, I disagree, but second of all, um, his mother is Jewish, meaning he was born from the womb of a Jewish woman. He's Jewish. I'm 10 years younger than you, call me an asshole. Thank you, man, that's very mature. You're very mature. You're very mature for your age. I also have a nice hairline, kind of receding. Nice, we have a Jay Caesar in chat. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Shout out to Jay, she Jay Caesar. Hey, excuse me, Storyboy. Can, can we get out of here, Storyboy? Can we go and get out of here, Storyboy? Nice friend. Hell yeah. I, I love your store, by the way. This is my first time coming here. I have to think of it. Oh. Assault! Assault! Call the police! I was assaulted! Call the police! Assault! I'm falling into the police comb. You're gonna keep on assaulting me? Yo, get back! He's tall and blonde? He dyes his hair. That's not his real hair color, bro. This is what they call Yoba. winning chat. I, need Yoba. Yoba. I don't know. Apparently I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with winning in my life because this doesn't look like winning to me, but okay. Winning, red pilling the normies. Watch this. Get a load of this. Wait for it. Now I need to bring up, sorry, I need to bring up the closed captioning because uh, if I rewind it, you can see him say, nobody disrespects me. That's what this is about, this is retaliation. Content spread coming soon, guys. He was anticipating. He was premeditating this assault. Because they disrespected him on a live stream. You can't have that. You can't get on this 
Here, let me re rewind that. Yeah, I'm about to get my content spread out. Thank you, though. Content spread is coming soon. I don't get insulted on the streets without retaliation. Based. Based in red pill chat. Premeditation. The And you have intention right here. Intention being made explicit to you and I. His intention isn't to defend himself because this, this isn't self-defense. This is retaliation because he was insulted on the streets. What a bitch. What an absolute bitch. Imagine... Imagine, chat, thinking so lowly of yourself that what a random person you don't even know says to you, that you have to retaliate. What is that the mentality of? Is that the mentality of, a, of, of the personification of Western salvation? Is that it? Or is that, the, uh, or is that the mentality of a beta bitch that feels so insecure about themselves that when somebody insults them, they need to do something about it. We need to act. We need to do something, in all caps. Do something baked. Let's just see what he's gonna do. What are you gonna do about it? You were insulted. You were called a some guy named Dope was called a bitch by an old lady. You were called a. a, a you, they said you had no spine. That your posture was off. That you looked like a crackhead. That you looked like the kind of guy that they wouldn't trust to babysit their children if you can pick up what they were putting. That's just what they said, you know. And he needed to retaliate. He needed to make his voice heard. But it's self-defense. I saw somebody saying he's going to assault somebody abnormally average. <laughs> I like that username. Abnormally average. He's going to assault somebody. What's self-defense? Don't you see that he's in fear right now? That they're encroaching on his living space? Hurry up, bro. I need backup. Um. This is what these assholes are doing out there, by the way. Cocksucker! He is. Probably willingly, too. You wouldn't even have to put a gun to his head. He would do it out of love of life. Voluntary one. Here it is. Retaliation. I am so mad! Retaliation. Now, who was that that was featured just a second ago here? I, I think I saw somebody I recognize. Who is, who is that? Whose mace was that? Who is that guy? Is that that based Aryan I've heard so much about? Holy fuck, on the right side of the screen. Is that not a 100% Bovarian... Uh, Bovarian phenotype. Is this not the, the Aryan that Nick Fuentes was telling me so much about? The, the Christ-like figure? Right, hey, bro. Yeah, protect our lives, bro. Self-defense, bro. Go run up on them and, and self-defense us. Make sure it's all lined up. There it is. There it is. Now, what's really bad about this... Other than the fact that I am now contractual or verbally obligated to take another shot. Uh, what happened? What happened, bro? I didn't just watch the whole thing. It's like I need I need you to tell me what happened. This woman is in her 50s on the right here. And her crime is having dis disrespected a man called Dope. That's her crime. What the fuck? This man seems to have a proclivity for targeting old, defenseless old ladies. What? Who did that? I see a lot of a lot of uh, discussion here in chat. You know, they're invoking their right to free speech. They're a lot baked. I know you want to get this banned right now, but they have a right to call you just the scum of the earth. 
They have a right to say that you're just above chomos. Just ever so slightly. Holy shit. That you're a human piece of excrement that, if washed away, would make the world a better place. That's what they're saying in chat. And you know what Baked Alaska and his friends, his friend like Dope would do? He would try to retaliate to you because no one disrespects him on the street. Here it is. This spineless coward deciding to ma content mace them. Content mace, they call it. Make sure it's all lined up, Baked says. Make sure it's all lined up. What did he mean by that? Make sure, make sure, buddy, that these guys that disrespected us know that they need to pay the fucking piper. That they are, they're not allowed to disrespect Yoba on the streets. These are his streets. I love on chat on screen here, you can see Baked is so fat. He does seem to have breasts that are a solid B cup. Well, as Nick Fuentes said, what happened, Baked? What happened? You watched the whole thing unravel. You saw your friend Dope and associate, business partner Dope, uh, assault these people. And with the right, the right, you know what would have been the Christ-like thing to do? You know what would have been the right thing to do? Was to realize that this guy who assaulted them was in the wrong and to give them his personal information so they could file charges. That would be the right thing to do. Not to, not to... You know, I know this is the, he's Jesus, right? As Nick Fuentes said. He's owning the wages by spray paying honest citizens of the world. He's making more people willing to go vote for Trump this year. Despicable. Absolutely fucking despicable. This fucking person's going to complain and cry about every little bad thing that happens. But look what he's done to other people. Look at what him and his friends do. And I, and I don't have the clip here. It doesn't really, I don't really care to bring it up, but a guy called Smooth Sanchez, another associate of his in America First, decided to waste tax dollars by going and climbing up a bridge where he continuously called himself a king, said that he was going to go out like Elliot Roger, and then begged like a bitch for somebody in authority to come up and save him because he couldn't climb down. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, all, all of them. Every last one of them, not one excluded. Cocksuckers. So I'll play this clip again because, and what I'll do is I'll mute it. But look at the uh, subtitles here. You'll see what they're guilty of. Did they assault this man? Did they make this man feel, excuse man, this, this spineless coward, did they make him feel that he was in legitimate fear of his life? Or did he feel slightly slighted and feel that he needed to exert his dominance by the use of content spray? Despicable human beings. Despicable. And, I, and you know something? Fuck them. Well, get, get fucked. Get Absolutely. Fucked. This, these guys getting fucking banned, fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. They absolutely are, are trying to get banned. There's no honest attempt to moderate, honest attempt to try to be decent people. These are human beings, Faith Alaska and his crew, that thrive off the misery of others. It's one of the oldest rules. One of the fucking few rules we have, chat. Not in chat, obviously. There are no rules here. But the, the chat I have as a human being in my heart, in my fucking soul. It's the same rule, the same set of rules we've always had, and I don't need to say them because you already feel it in your heart of hearts. You know what's right and wrong. I don't need to tell you. This right here, this ain't it, Chief. This right here, baked. This is gonna make people when when finally you have accepted that your future is working at a department store, people are gonna find clips like this. People are going to find clips like this and realize that you absolutely deserve to get fucked with just like you fucked with other people. Just like when you hunted people down at their jobs and gave them a hard time, now you're going to be deserving when you get it yourself. And it's only a matter of time. Some people might say there's no way this guy would get hired. You guys don't realize how many lazy motherfuckers there are in this fucking country, man. 
they will hire this guy and he will work somewhere at, at a fucking Walmart. And that somebody at Walmart's going to go, hey, I know you. No, I'm not going to try to get you fired, but I want to give you a hard time. Hey, buddy, how about content spray? I'm allowed to film you. This is a pu public space. This is a public space. This is Tim, everybody. Hey, hey, Tim. Hey, Tim, this guy marched at Charlottesville. And he was uh, assaulting people in the streets with, with pepper spray because they disrespected his friend. Or maybe his friend took his mace and then and then it assaulted people. Whatever, whatever way you want to cut it. Despicable. And, and I... I am so mad that I defended this fucking prick and I didn't see show this job. him spray painting himself or spray painting him pepper spraying himself. He did this to himself. I called this out because I thought that he was attacked by Antifa and it honestly it wouldn't surprise me. But I defended this prick and he did it himself. Fuck this guy. Uh, ear juice. Hey, ear juice. Five bucks Australian. Did you see Transparency Tube classed you as partisan right? I did see that. Uh, I got that as well. I live in a socialized democracy and I vote labor. Yeah, the details don't really matter, do they? Wait a minute, man. I haven't really been around, but it's good to see you, ear juice. Uh, I won't lie. I haven't watched your show, but uh, I've heard good things about it. Uh, I'm not sure if you're doing it these days, but ear juice makes great fucking music. I unironically play clean it up. That's my, that's my clean clean up the house jam. I have a playlist of songs that I use, like get me in the mood for wanting to clean, and that's on there. Your juice. Not only does he provide the music that you can hear in the background for the streams, but uh, he has music that he makes himself. It's good stuff, and he's always he's an absolute mensch. Uh, all joking aside, he's always been a fucking great guy, and has always helped uh, elevate the production value of the show. So big shout out to Your Juice. Thanks for the five bucks, man. But yeah, the year of Baked Alaska coming to a close. And what a nice little close we're finding ourselves at. I feel It feels so awkward and foreign and alien operating OBS. Hold on a second here. Okay, so it just looks like these are other videos I... You know what? Fuck it. We'll play this one more time. Oh, I got pepper spray. Fucking pepper spray. Thank you, guys. You I got fucking pepper spray. I need milk. I, I need milk. I need milk. I need milk. I got pepper spray. What the fuck? What the fuck? I need, I need milk. I need milk. I need milk right now. Help. Milk right now, please. I, I'm an American. I know how you feel, bud. <laughs> Interesting. I, uh, I, you see, that's the thing about different cultures. I, I find a lot of interest in the way that they have created unique blends of human beings. For what it's worth, I, I think there's a lot of uh, lot to be said there. Man, I haven't even drank my coffee. I need milk too. Hell yeah. He didn't invent the will. No, I really like those those tracks though. The ones you know, "Sunsets Over Israel" is good, but uh, dude, clean it up. I, I oh no, like YouTube knows. It comes up as a suggested song like every other day. Money corrupts purse capacity. You're one hundred percent right, man. Like it, the people, when their intention becomes to make money rather than just have fun, you know, when that becomes the intention, th then it's it, it's just a slippery slope. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I added the Fred Durst and shit chat. One of the reasons I reluctant to this day. Like, I've been planning on doing this stream for, like, half a week. Uh, I see how the internet changes these people, and uh, I'm concerned that the same will happen to me. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, like, I, I see people like, a good example is JF or uh, Ethan Ralph, and the, sh the stuff they make 
seems more out of obligation and less out of, hey, I have a thing to say. Hey, I think the show could be fun. Let's do this. This could be a fun bit. And more like, I need to pay, I need to work today. Let me do the show. And I don't want to get to that point. I want to just do the show whenever I have a thing. Baked is such bad. He's literally the worst optics. I don't know, though. The Catboy date might be slightly worse. I've been cataloging uh, Baked for weeks. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, if you haven't been, I probably would have missed a lot of it. And the Daily Grifter, too. I, if, I, if the Daily Grifter hasn't been posting this shit, I wouldn't be seeing much of it, because I got so bored with uh, the other things I was paying attention to. Zio Milk. <laughs> You're naively... Kiyuma Houston 2. I, I see they got your first account, apparently. Well, welcome back, man. Uh, you're naively assuming that they were people from the beginning. That is very true. They, maybe they were robots to begin with, or pets. Who fucking knows? Right, where, where, what's the time situation? 1.45. I'll hang out for maybe another 10 minutes. I'm looking at the guitar, but I think I'm gonna, I'll wait until I go offline. <laughs> I've been getting a little bit better at, at the music thing, but uh, I've been practicing a lot. Fuentes has creepy Podesta hands. I've never heard that before. I've never looked at his hands, but... Odd, maybe you're right. Oh, Zymel. Yeah, you've told me about that before. Um, now, my, my kitty, she is way spoiled already. So, no lactose-free milk for kitty. I got my eye on you, cat. You have to have a soul to be a person. That's very true, man. And maybe it's just me, but I'm sure the rest of you are like this as well. Um, one of the things I focus most on my life about is the direction of growth of my soul. That sounds so weird, but I just want to be better. I want to be more selfless. I, I, I just want to bring more good into the world. Like, I constantly, every single day, chat... I know this probably sounds like I, I'm a fucking ancient mess, but I constantly weigh the, the idea in my head. Is what I'm doing good? Am I doing it for myself? Is this a net positive for the world? Like, I'm constantly in question of my own actions, my perspectives. I'm keeping myself in check, basically, to make sure I don't descend into like delusions or things that make the world a shittier place. It's, it's like forcing myself to grow up. U-N-T-K-K-K. Hey, good to see you, man. It's been a while. You missed the whole show, but I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up. 15 likes. I don't even know how many viewers are here, man. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. I, I just show up, do whatever, say what I have to say, show you the shit, and then move on. That's gay. Oh, I get it, man. I get it. I just... When you realize that you're your own adult, that you're you have you're in charge, and you have to make sure you don't fuck up or do something like bad or immoral or selfish. Tell the crew to push the whopper button. <laughs> that one was a little louder. Uh, well, Gay F took my money from Epstein and was a creep before we even knew about him. Gunt was an alcoholic that never worked a day in his life, etc. That's a fair point. Fair point. Did yourself that after the <laughs> after the Fei Fei stream? No, no, it, it was kind of longer than that. But I have, you know, while all of that stuff was going on, I was definitely thinking about it a lot. Like, is this making the world a better place? And, and honestly, at the end of the day, yeah, I, I think it did. Um, first of all, people do need entertainment, and second of all, the entertainment that uh, the, the content is focused on. I mean, maybe they can use a little bit of just people saying exactly what they think instead of worrying about what they might think. Like, Mr. Vickers, for example, probably isn't going to tell those two exactly what he thinks. 
he's going to sugarcoat a little bit because he has ma uh, relationships to maintain. However, somebody like myself who has no stake in it can say exactly what he thinks and mean exactly what he says. And maybe, I doubt it, but maybe, someone will go, oh, that's what somebody else outside of the picture thinks. Maybe they're right a little bit and, and think. 34, you're fucking with 34. Hundred fifty six. That sounds a bit. It was too funny to not do a stream. Uh, exactly, exactly. I didn't realize how fucked it was until we were there. But uh, last shot. Well, it's not the last shot. I have another. Uh, I'm not finishing that bottle straight up. But uh, the last content mace shot. This one's for the people that got maced by by fucking coward Alaska or coward Alaska's friend Dope. Be precise. Anyway, uh, cheers everybody. Thanks, Red Mage. Yeah, I, uh, I've been behind so much, and we've been even falling behind on the show I do with Davey. Just, I, I don't, I can't speak for him, but I can say that we've been opening way more, and they throw my ass on the schedule. I show up. That's all there is. They no joke. Like gave me the lowest position the other day. Like, hey, do you want to come in to do the lowest? And I said yes, without even a moment of hesitation. Yes, I'll be there. I'll be there thirty minutes early, with a full belly and a full night of sleep. I'll be ready to run this place. You know, I. I don't know. I I take pride in my quality. Of work. <laughs> I did forget a, a not for dead, but I'm getting a Streamlabs donation here from Bane Trump with five bucks for the love of God move out of California. Thank you, Bane Trump. Uh, I'm in the position of saving right now, but that's definitely uh, it's been on my mind quite a bit lately. Most of the people that got maced, you know, so I'll pour out a shot just for that. <laughs> it's okay, we all have guns. I actually don't. Cock, I've lost a, not a crazy amount of weight, but like I, I don't know if people go through like a weird change in their like late twenties, early thirties. But I went from being slightly overweight to I'm, I'm like skinny now. I'm like factor is skinny. Some guy called me tall the other day, and I didn't realize it, but apparently I probably shouldn't say anything. I, I it's weird. I think I grew a few inches. Fucking bizarre. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Where? Trump, I got that going. Yeah, yeah, this is a good place to call it, I think. Me any play? But I do want to share this with you because I think this guy's such a f piece of shit. Midlife crisis. It could be. Could be. I don't think I'm quite in the midlife yeah. crisis area, but I mean, I'm not going to jinx it. President who was and still is at war with science. So to a very significant degree, I think it is fair to say that Trump doesn't give me any pleasure to say this, is in fact responsible for the deaths of many, many thousands. He, he killed thousands of people. He's responsible. Funny, aren't you responsible too? Because you're in charge as well. Aren't, are you not an elected member of the representation of the people? And then here's why I, I, I'm just, I just need to call this fucker out. First of all, for sucking the blood out of the working class, the very people you said you were going to help, the people who believed in you. The right thing to do would have been to refund their fucking money after you're already a millionaire. You've already made a living fleecing the people out of their tax dollars. You had, had to take millions of more from hopeful people that believed in you. People that believed in you, Bernie. They, they saw you and they thought you were a good guy. Look at his fucking face right here. They thought this guy was a good person and they believed in you and they sent you millions. And you know what you did, did? You did it twice. You took the money and you ran away and you did nothing to help those people. You didn't take a million, just one out of the hundreds of millions. You didn't try to go feed a poor fucking neighborhood. You never thought I'll donate this money to help educate the poor in a bad neighborhood. Never did that. 
right? But we're supposed to believe that this fucking dude doesn't take pleasure in saying that a political rival of his killed people. Think about that. If he's willing to lie about that, what is he willing to what what else is he willing to lie about? He just told us to our fucking faces that he is not proud to say that Trump killed hundreds of thousands of people. He's not it doesn't he doesn't take pleasure in saying that. You're a fucking liar. You absolutely took pleasure in that. And also, I, I do I I maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I have re- walked into another fucking dimension, but I seem to recall this cocksucker condemning closing off the border, saying it was xenophobic. You're guilty of the same thing you accuse others of, you fucking prick. Doesn't take me any... And then, let me continue on here. ...of Americans and disproportionately Latinos. Oh yeah, also, he's all... That's the other thing, I forgot about that. Right? He's guilty for everybody who died from COVID, but also he's racist because it, it hurt more Latino people. There's no data to back that up, you fucking prick. I am tired of Donald Trump killing Americans. Trump should be on trial for 220,000 murders. Death penalty for each count. Another, another approved YouTube personality. This guy is able to advocate, directly advocate for the death of a representation of the people and be promoted by YouTube. Remember, these guys will throw at the feet of anybody they dislike deaths of people that they could not have stopped. It's Donald Trump's fault these people were dead, right? 200,000 from COVID, (laughs) which includes all the flu numbers from influenza because the flu has gone down by 98% this year. Isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? But more to the point, If Trump is responsible for 200,000 COVID deaths, you guys are responsible for it too. Maybe not Keith Olbermann, but Bernie Sanders and and Nancy Pelosi, absolutely they are. They're in the same boat. They're they're co-workers. If he's responsible, they're responsible. That's all there is to it. (laughs) Fucking, you're still working together even if you're on different sides. (sighs) Unbearable. Unfucking believable, these people. But if you guys who have been cheering on Black Lives Matter and Antifa, refusing to dis- disavow, right, that you can't do the same thing for Antifa that Trump is being called for for the alt right. You can't denounce, because remember, Antifa is just an idea. You guys have been cheering on Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and they've actively been killing Americans, innocent people, burning down homes, burning down businesses, ruining livelihoods. If Trump is responsible for COVID, you are absolutely yourself, Keith, and absolutely Bernie and the rest of you fucking pricks. You're responsible for Black Lives Matter and the deaths that have resulted as allowing them to run around with impunity. Every death from Antifa, every death from Black Lives Matter is on your fucking hands because guess what? The shit goes both ways. I will hold you to the stand. Maybe no one else, maybe a minority will. I'm no fucking, I'm just a random ass person. Not relevant, not important. But you will catch me dead before I hold you to a separate standard, you tranny loving piece of shit. Keith Olbermann here is calling for the death of some, of an innocent person. Whether or not we can blame, I don't think we can blame politicians from people who were dead from COVID. Left, right, or center. Look, I don't like, Nancy Pelosi, but I wouldn't blame her from, for the deaths of people who got sick. That's a nature. That's the way of life. It's how it goes. But if we're going to play this game where Trump is responsible for COVID, then you guys are responsible for all the people who have been murdered in the streets, the innocent people, mind you, that have been murdered in the streets by political violence, people who have been worked up and radicalized by you. People who have been convinced by the talking heads on TV, by people like Keith Olbermann, that Trump is literally killing people and they need to do something about it. That's what's being said here. And meanwhile, if you or I step out of line ever, just ever so slightly, they will ruin us. They will find us. They will destroy our livelihoods, our relationships with our families. But this guy right here, this one right here on screen, calling for the death of politicians openly with promotion by the mainstream media. Let's rewind it. 
for 220,000 murders. Death penalty for each count. Hey, but at least, hey, the simps routing their money to my streams and me using it for a good purpose, plus pocketing a lot and, and helping out the content. The full program is now on my YouTube channel. I hope you will subscribe. I hope you, I, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel after I advocate for the deaths of people and I don't have to, I don't have to face a community guideline strike, but if you say something slightly off color, you maybe curse too much, maybe question a certain people a little too much, maybe you don't, you have a nuanced perspective on Palestine, suddenly, suddenly you're going to need to be Soviet Union removed like you were never even there. But this guy who's calling for the, for at, He's calling for violence, chat. There's no fucking about. There's no beating around the bush. This guy wants people fucking dead. I don't want anyone dead. I want everyone better. I want everyone to, to live with their full potential in, in their soul. It, uh, growing with, with love. I know it sounds really fucking stupid, chat. It's typically why I stay sober. But that's my belief in the fucking world is that we could all be better than this. We don't have to be like Keith Olbermann. We don't have to be like Bernie Sanders. We don't have to be like Baked Alaska or Nick Fuentes. We can be better than this. And these people collectively lower the standard, the spiritual standard of the fucking universe. It's a goddamn shame. So fuck, first of all, I just want to say fuck you, Keith Olbermann. You, you double standard peddling sack of shit. You're, you're absolutely the worst that humanity has to offer. I, I thought you would be better. I thought over years that maybe if I watched, paid attention to this guy, maybe I would understand him. And I do understand him. You're a hack. You offer nothing positive to the world. And now you're here calling for people to be killed, not even the bad people. Just their puppet. Shame. Fucking shame on you, Keith. Fucking psychopath. There are a lot of bad people in this world, but you know how often I have called for, the, for violence to be a solution? You know how often Keith Olbermann has called for violence to be a solution? Which one of us is promoted on YouTube and Twitter? Which one of us is on cable news? All right, well, get fucked! Get fucked! <laughs> I, I, sorry, Coach, I just saw your DM. No, I have, a, I have nine different DMs right now. So I haven't been answering my Twitter, but, uh, <laughs> no, I've only had a few shots, but I, I am a little too, a little too slap happy to have anybody on, I would say. Anyway, we, we'll, we'll do guests sucker. on eventually. Cocksucker. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, Redmond Barry, maybe you should advocate violence more. I mean, that's the message they're sending us, isn't it? I'm worried they'll get what they want. Me too, man. That's, that's kind of the frustration about all of this, is when we give them the reason to tighten the belt, they're going to do it. That's what all of this is. They're trying to, in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel they're trying to provoke us into action so they can justify a police state. Same thing with Antifa, but mostly same thing with us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stream. And we also had uh, 50 bucks from Kevin Duggan. Uh, Young Americans for Freedom is a well-known psyops. Even Timothy Leary mentioned the founder on camera and Fuentes never ever misses a Young Americans for Freedom meeting on YT like he is in Young Americans. Makes you wonder. I've gotten the feel, I've had the feeling that he's a controlled asset for a while. I don't know... I guess it's just a feeling. I don't have any proof. I'm not going to make that accusation, but I've had that intuition saying there's something up with this guy. Something's off, right? He'll hang up, uh, he'll hang out with Catboy, but then he'll denounce something much less embarrassing. This seemed fucking weird. 
What latency does this stream have? It should have low latency or ultra low latency. Let me double. It reset all of my stream. All my stream. It's at normal latency, that's why. That's probably why there's a delay. Normally I have it on ultra low. Yeah, it's at normal latency right now, so. Anyway. That always a pleasure. I'm gonna cash in for the. I think that's the one. One. That's the ticket. And the oh, now it's working. Now that I need, whatever. Who cares? Watch the Godwinson video on the Milo connection to Fuentes. Uh, great series, by the way. Godwinson's been knocking it out of the park. His, his Fuentes shit's been really good. Uh, yeah, I had seen that. It's good. It's good. I forgot that was in there. All right. And with that, uh, it's been a while, chat. It was good seeing you guys again. But I am ready. Misfits. All right, all right. All right, so to those of you who have... Who don't like to listen to a guy sing off-key, you might want to tune up. I saw a, the Misfits, somebody reminding me, no, you gotta play uh, some Misfits, man. It's fucking Halloween. And I had Halloween prepared to play. That was what I practiced before I went live. Right, chat, I'm going to... Uh, Serenade you. Turn off the noise gate. <sighs> okay, no, it's at a higher octave. Okay. I got it. If you're gonna scream, scream with me Moments like this never last When do creatures rape your face? Moment <laughs> Hybrids open up the door Ooh baby, when you cry Your face is momentary you hide your looks behind these scars In hybrid moment Give me a moment No, I must... Oh, that's because it's a G. <laughs> Sorry, my glasses are not on. In hybrid moment Give me a moment Give me a moment Give me a moment Ooh baby when you cry Your face is momentary You hide your looks behind these scars In hybrid moments Give me a moment I fucked that up again In hybrid moments Give me a moment Give me a moment, give me a moment. So I haven't been playing hybrid moments, so I fucked that one up. So I'll play something else. And then I'll wrap up. Angels. <clears throat> oh, fuck. All right, so let's take this shot, and then I'll play the song. Because this is the part of the song. The show's over, folks. Notorious KKK by Moon Man. I have Jordan Peterson bot singing that. We could do that. Anyway, uh, chat. This one's for me. 
because I've been fucking killing it in my everyday life and I'm very proud of myself. Cheers, chat. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Angels fall to earth. World eats down. No. <clears throat> Angels fall to earth. World eats down. Now your heart is cold. Waiting on the summer of my soul Devil girl, you must burn Burn at the touch of autumn's breath Burn that hot of cold Simmering in the sowing of my soul Gonna wait on the sowing of my soul Gonna bring your world down in fire fall to earth world hits down oh now your heart is cold simmering in the sowing of my soul gonna wait on the side <laughs> Gonna wait on the sowing of my soul Gonna bring your world down in fire Gonna wait on the sermon of my soul Gonna bring your world down in fire Come wrap me around House of ice melt you down more than once or twice, make you shake till the world's aligned. See your body tremble with the blood on fire, cause the season in my veins will end your world to the season of the flames. You must pray and learn, change all the things that you've ever seen, change all visions, kill all endings. Gonna wait on the sermon of my soul. Gonna bring your world down in fire Gonna wait on the sowing of my soul Gonna bring your world down in fire Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's bad. That's, you know what? That's why I drink before I play music. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck. No shit. You can watch the viewer count like plummet every time I play music. But the thing is, is there are a few people that enjoy it. So it's one of those things I try to push to the end of a show. So that way the people who enjoy it can go, yay, we get live music, kind of. And the other people can go like, all right, I'm out, bro. I don't need to hear a tone deaf man sing. I'm good. But I have been practicing quite a bit. Like, that's one of the th reasons I don't stream, or I haven't been streaming as much. Uh, I come home and I just want to play music. I'm not very good, but it, uh, it offers catharsis for me. So even if I mo might not be one of the most technically talented people out there, I, I really... Like, I'll be in my apartment all alone, and I just play three hours worth of songs back-to-back. -back. Very... Very poorly, by the way. But I, uh, I really like music. I've been considering pursuing a, a future in it, but I really don't like the music industry. Anyway, 
Uh, four ninety nine from Kevin Duggan. It's fire and a fire emoji. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. I, I no joke have handwritten tabs that I I again I'm tone deaf so I, they're probably not right but I transcribe a lot of my own music that I like to play and uh, I don't know I have fun with it. I hope you're not disturbing the neighbors. I've actually mentioned this to them and they was like, "Oh no, we actually enjoy the music at random times." <laughs> They're like, "We the guy uh, next door, he has night terrors, so he actually said the music like helps." But he's like, oh, "No, don't mind don't mind it at all." And the people upstairs are moving out, so <laughs> I'm good. Don't sing that again. Damn, dude. Well, just know that what I'll do is I'll sing it a lot more. Does you, you won't hear it, but I, I am not a singer. I'm actually really bad at singing, if you, uh, if you weren't able to pick that up. But that's the thing, man. That's not going to stop me from something I enjoy. Just because I'm, just because I'm bad at something, I'm still going to do it. It makes me feel better, so... Guitar was good. Hey, I appreciate that. The, see, I, I I play guitar. I don't sing a lot, so I don't get a lot of practice with singing. But especially trying to sing Danzig, and Danzig is a really good vocalist. He, he's good shit. I, genuine. I genuinely laugh. It's fun. That's all I ask. Like, I'm not trying to sound like the greatest musician of all time. As long as you can, like, kind of laugh and it, maybe tap your toe a little bit and kind of enjoy it. That's all I ask. How did you learn guitar? Uh, funny story. So my old man, uh, he played guitar his whole life. And one day I picked it up and he's like, finally, oh my god, I've waited for you to pick that thing up. And, and you know, I was like teenager. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. And he's like, okay, look, please. <laughs> he was so He was so excited. <laughs> Cause he, he loves me. He loves music. Um, so I sat down on the guitar one day and he's like, all right, man, let me, let me teach you the chords. I want to fucking teach you music theory, the circle of fifths. I want to, <laughs> God love him, man. So, uh, my old man's approach is to let you teach yourself. He'll tell you that he coached you, that he was, he's the one that taught you everything you knew. Right. But what he would do is you just he kind of pepper in advice I'm like hey, try this a little bit this is how i play this chord you should give it a shot so how i learned is that i played on my own and then the old man would hear me and go try this instead that's good i like it but try this he would do that all the time never in my life i was a lucky guy well there's good and bad that comes with it but there was never a person in my life that instilled me with more confidence than the old man that guy I could take a shit and he would be like, you see this shit? Everybody is the greatest pile of shit you've ever seen. Look at it. Just look at it. That guy, that guy was so proud of me, man. Fucking rippled, man. Miss that guy. The world would be a better place with him around. That's what sucks about it. <laughs> That's really when, when somebody you care about is gone. The, the shitty part is that you think about, man, the world would be better with this guy around. He's just such a fucking colorful guy. Pops. This last shot for the night is for you. Love you, buddy. Miss you. Kevin Duggan. I'm not a porn star, but I still fuck. That doesn't help me. That's fair. Practice makes perfect, my dude. <laughs> I like it. Danzig is a terrible, wee little, bitter, crotchety nerd. There is some truth to that, but we have to, for me, how I appreciate uh, Danzig is you, you seem like a cartoon character. Like he's kind of, it's kind of a joke, right? You enjoy Danzig ironically. Although uh, Misfits, Sao Win, and the first four Danzig albums are some of the best albums ever made. Like the dude is talented, no joke. I, I, you would not be able to convince me otherwise. But is he full of himself? Is he fucking cringe? Yeah, dude. Very much so. 
Thanks, Eddie. That's nice, man. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. So uh, with that, <laughs> I hope I could offer a little bit of entertainment in these trying times to you guys. Uh, I'm never sure how I feel about streams anymore. It used to be that I'd wrap something and be like, that was a good show. I don't know how I feel about tonight. But hopefully I, I uh, got my point across. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of enjoyment out of it. But uh, I think this is the proper time to call it quits. To end on a high... Well, maybe... How about we instead of ending on a high note, we end, we end on a flat note? Meaning my voice. Yeah, Danzig did get knocked out. That's true. I mean, dude, you guys have all been punched in the face before, right? That's that's a rite of passage. That's how you truly become a man, is the first time you take a punch to the face. And I imagine Danzig's not had a whole lot of those because he's kind of a tough guy. Uh, but it's, that's not why I like Danzig. I like him for his music, so I don't really care about all that. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's how it goes. Oh, yeah, the Northside Kings versus Danzig shit. I loved that. It was so fun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it for the night, so see you guys later. I I don't know when I'll be back. I will be back eventually. Who the fucking knows anymore? But I had fun tonight. Happy uh, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and on a flat note, yeah. Not bad, right? Hey, you know, I might not sing very well, but I can be clever from time to time. Anyway, it's always a pleasure. You guys are the best. Cheers. Have a good night.